Hey guys, what's going on? Josh is down here with the second video on how to get port forwarding to actually work. The first video is the traditional method on how to do it by opening the ports, making sure everything's all good to go in those settings for your router and get your modem all situated. That was the very first video. So if you missed that, go ahead and click the video in the top left. I'm going to show you. I'm going to have a link there that you can click and it'll show you everything you need to know. Um, you do need to know a little bit of it uh, to start doing this one, just a little bit. So I'd recommend watching it just to inform yourself. Um, and this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get port forwarding to work using a program. And if, just in case you can't switch out a modem or get it to work the other way. So here we go. First off, I'm going to explain and show you how my ports are open at the moment. They are open. Here's my router settings. When you go in, port forwarding is on right here, virtual server port forwarding, because I have an Asus RTAC56R. I go down here, and we're going to be using Terraria server just for ease of numbers, and because their server to use that online is 7777. So you go ahead and put the name here, put whatever port you want to open. I put the number before and then a colon, the number after, so it scans those ports and no 7777 is going to be the one you're going to use. Your local IP, you can do that by putting in your computer's IP. So once you go ahead and put it in there, port forwarding is on. And again, I just do want to show you my firewalls are on. When you go to firewall, firewalls are on. Go ahead and check port 7777. We're in it. ISP is not blocking it. Another reason being is because I do have Terraria open and I'm in the game right now. Port 7777 is active for me right now. So I'll show you if I exit. I'm technically exiting the server. Try it again. It's not going to work. See it taking a while to think up there? Because it's getting rejections and timeouts. Bam. Did not work. You have to be in the server to test it. Now this is a really handy website, canyonseeme.org. I use it. I've used it so many times that it's come in handy so much. So now you know that port forwarding does work on my uh, my system, and I can make it not work just as easy. I'm going to show you how to get port forwarding to work with a program. Now, what you want to do is make sure you're not in the server you're trying to open. This program won't work if you're already in it. So as you see, I'm out of my Terraria server. I'm just in the main menu. Uh, this works if you're going with like a Ventrilo server or a Rust or 7 Days to Die server, anything like that. Just be out of the game completely. Do this from, have nothing else loaded up to do this one. What you're going to do is disable port forwarding on your, uh, on your router settings. Wait for that to finish. Port forwarding being disabled is going to mean all your ports are blocked. Now... Again, this is going to be where it's kind of weary a little bit for you guys, but go back to your firewall setting, and what you have to do is turn off your firewall and turn off this one, DOS protection. Hit apply. Now, again, this does leave you kind of vulnerable, but still, I'll show you right now, port 7777 is blocked refuse instead of timing out it's refusing it because even though your firewall is off your port forwarding is off so your ports are still blocked so you're still protected in that sense now when you get the connection refused that means it's hitting a wall it's not just hitting endless nothings and getting nothing back it's actually hitting a rejection wall so now that you have firewall off and you have your port forwarding turned off so let's go ahead and load up this program I have a link for it in the description. It's called SPI Port Forward. And what this program does is it kind of bullies its way into getting those ports open for you. Um, it's really awesome. I've used it so many times like before I got this stuff working, and it was great. So what you want to do, as you know, Terraria server, off. We're not in it. Check port 7777. Remember, firewall's off and port forwarding is off. Connection refused. So what you want to go here when you load up this program, hit 7777. Well, whatever server you want, whatever, it, does, it varies, but I'm just using Terraria's. And then 7777 in the remote port. Max connections. A good standard is 8. If you have some pretty decent internet, 8's pretty good. So go ahead and click that. Make sure auto start is checked. And then hit activate. Now, didn't look like much, did it? So, still, 7777. 
refused. But, back to Troyer Shaper. Go to multiplayer, host, my guy, my world, my server password. Now it's starting the server up. Wait for it to load. And bam, I am in my server. Loaded up, ready to go. Minimize this bad boy. Let's check it one more time. Now that I'm, I've activated it before I was inside the server, everything is set to the settings I told you previously. Hit it, and bam. You are good. Your server is open. Your ports are open because of this program forcing its way through. You're solid. People can connect you now. So, if you wanted to go ahead and do that with any game you wanted to play, if you wanted to make a Ventrilo server so people could talk with you, if you wanted to, you know, do any of that, if you wanted to just afford, you know, an FTP server for you down there just so people could download files from you and all that stuff, or vice versa, this program helps you do that just in case you can't get a new modem like I forced my internet provider to giving me one. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any more specific uh, settings that I'm not covering, I can't guarantee it'll work if that's the case because I've only done as far as the, as, you know, up to my limitations. I've only done everything I have uh, that you've seen. So, again, you know, if this helped you out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I do a bunch of tutorial videos. And I also have video game videos. You can check them out in the top left in my videos page. If you like what you saw and it helped you out, go ahead and hit subscribe in the bottom. And if you want to see the previous video, uh, you can go ahead and go to the top right and it'll be a link to the previous video which shows you how to port forward traditionally without using programs. Um, so, again, thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.